when you start your computer and boot time takes a little longer than usual and then at the end you're stuck with this message and your computer won't boot so there's could be a couple problems first problem your operation system is corrupted second your hard drive is dead and third one least likely but your hard drive cable could be bad as well but in most cases it's either your operation system is corrupted or your hard drive is dead actually i've seen more often operation system is corrupted so in this case i'm going to show you how to fix this problem first thing what we need to do we need to power off our computer just press and hold power button when computer powers off what we need to do before we power it on we need to press on command and r and hold at the same time while pressing on a power button and then we need to hold for i don't know maybe 30 or 45 seconds and then we can release and your mac will boot into recovery mode once you get into the screen right here what we need to do we need to choose our network so click on the drop down menu and then choose your network and then once we connect to the network we just have to wait and this process could take a few minutes once your computer boot into recovery mode what we need to do we need to click on disk utility and then press on continue and then in here in this window if you're gonna see your hard drive if your hard drive is not dead you're gonna see disk over here like for example minus 251 gig apple ssd yours could call something else you're gonna be able to see the one on top here just ignore this bottom one if by some reason your disk is not gonna be here that's mean your hard drive is dead or your cable is bad to your hard drive but in most cases it's gonna be dead hard drive and before erasing your hard drive what else you can do you can try to click on first aid and you can try to repair your disk so choose the hard drive when the first aid is selected and then click on repair your disk if that's gonna repair your disk maybe you won't have to reinstall operation system and none of your data will be lost and now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna choose a hard drive and i'm gonna click on erase but by doing this you will lose all your data on your laptop so for example if you don't want to lose any of your data you should not do this because by doing this all your data will be gone and then i'm going to click on erase and right here i'm going to leave everything as default and i'm just going to name the hard drive i'm going to name it mac hd and then i'm going to click on erase and then i'm going to confirm erase once this is complete we can close this window and in here we need to click on reinstall OS X and then click on continue and if you get this message by some reason you have to connect to Wi-Fi I've done it before but I guess it lost the connection so I'm going to connect to Wi-Fi again and then right here I'm going to try again and then right here I'm just going to click on continue and then continue one more time and then in here terms and conditions just click on agree and then agree one more time and then now we need to choose the hard drive and then click on install and now it's going to download and install OS X on your Mac computer this process can take up to 45 minutes once the process is complete you'll have to restart your system you can press and restart or it will restart automatically and now we just have to go through the setup choose your country and then click continue and then your keyboard layout and then click continue and you can connect to a network here and then click continue and then continue one more time if you want to set up your wi-fi later and now if you have any data that you would like to transfer this is the time to do it and then I'm just gonna leave it not now and then click continue terms and conditions click continue and then agree and now we need to create computer account and then click continue 
select your time zone and then continue and that's it your mac computer is set up and ready to be used and now you can go into your app store and download the latest updates if this video was helpful to you press that like button and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching